That's pure sexiness right there. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys have been asking me for an update on the car. So I'm going to give it to you. And if you guys remember, like, I want to say two years ago. Um, sorry, I was eating some Doritos over here. Uh, but about two years ago, I did a, a YouTube video on the sand car that you guys have always wanted an update on. Uh, well, guess what? I'm going to give you an update on it. Not in this video, though. Sorry. Uh, but the guy got the car back finally. Um, he put it on a hold. He's been working on it for about a year uh, just because how hard it's been to get parts. An update for my sand rail. Uh, what we have done, if you guys haven't seen it, is we've ripped out the dash and the wiring was just hideous. I mean, some people should not work on their cars or wire their own cars. I mean, there was just wires, relays, and fuses, and just everywhere, and a big ball, and bunched up, and just not organized. Like, when I'm done with the wire harness, they're gonna be in all one wire loom, labeled so you know where everything goes. Also, the dash, well, this dash has gotta go bye-bye, because, um, well, we need a new dash. And everybody I've talked to, you know, for these, covering all these holes, it could warp. It's easier just to get a new piece and build it, you know, bend it. Um, you know, we, we got to make this a little bigger anyways for the screen to sit flush mounted in there. So this dash, well, I don't know, no good. It's pretty much going to be scrap, I guess. Car is all, I mean, taken apart. Panels just all over the place over here. Uh, we are finally now doing the Switch Pros. The rear, we finally done. The computer's done. Computer's mounted. Uh, got rid of all the speaker wire, went two gauge wire everywhere, all black. I just marked what was red so I know. I just don't like bright red, you know, wires. Because even when the seat's down, you're probably going to maybe see a, little, see a little bit, but I'm not sure. Speaker wire's gone. We got also the new valley cover. So check this out. Oh, wait, better move that. I'll show you guys this. So if you guys remember, it was like a billet, like faded. Well, here, I'll show you. That's what the original valley cover looked like, which... That's no no. That looks horrible. We got this bad boy now. Oh yeah. Whoa. <sighs> what the heck? Oh, we got stuff on it. <clears throat> but we got this one now. Uh, nice black. We got the black valve cover, black valley cover. Then we're gonna go put on the new intake. Um, I got the same intake just because I love the style. I like the high runner intake. This one I don't like because um, I'm sure you guys are asking why would you get the same intake. Uh, this has some scratches that aren't gonna come out like look at that like see that That's a pretty deep scratch. So that's not gonna be able to come out So that's why we purchased a new one nice clean. So if you guys want an LS intake, this is good for LS one two or six um, Well, here you go. I'll sell you guys this intake You don't get the injectors obviously because the injectors are going back onto this But you can have everything else on here and you don't get my transducer uh, because that's gonna go back on this also uh, you can have a throttle body, this Edelbrock, because, let me show you guys this. You ready for this? Are you ready? Bam! Look at this thing. Now, this is a throttle body. So, I went, uh, that's a 90. This is a 102 throttle body. So, we went just a little bigger. We're going to put that on there nice, clean, fresh. Um, you know, just to freshen the car up a little bit. Got new sensors. Those are actually brand new sensors. We got the old ones. We're not going to run those. Um... But pretty much the same thing, you know, you can even look at the trumpets that are inside this thing. See those trumpets right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. Uh, same thing with these, same trumpets. So it's pretty much the same, same, you know, manifold. It's just cleaner and, and new. You know, I just want it looking clean and nice and new. And for the people that are like, dude, like, why do you start a build like so early? You know, like you still got like four months for desert. Because guys, that's why I bought this thing so early because I knew what I was gonna do. I knew when I purchased something, like I wanna prep it, make sure it's perfect. And it takes a long time because you run into problems. Like here's an example. And I don't know if I showed you guys this, or showed you guys this why I got a new intake. Um, this thing had a um, leak, a vacuum leak, and we found it. Well, the guy literally like glued the map sensor into here and well, it wasn't good. But other than that, so we got a new one now. Here, what? Here's a uh, a problem. Oh man, we gotta clean that. Here's a problem with this one. Is if you know, well, it's not a problem, but it's a little fix we gotta do. So if you notice, this right here sets forward more 
than this one. See, this one is set back. Now, the problem that we're having is, uh, number one, this now, we're gonna have to remake this, get a new piece of aluminum, because this no longer now fits where it originally goes, because the neck, if you wanna call it, or the front, is a lot longer. This was shorter, so it would hook up right to it. So it's little stuff, you know, like this that you have to do, you have to redo. You know, uh, just like the screen that I got. The dash, it's not, you know, it's not gonna fit, so now we're gonna make a new dash. The map sensor connector, whatever, is right here. So the map sensor, this, you know, is not, yeah, it's the map sensor. This uh, map connector is not right. So now we have to depin this and change this end on it right here because it will not fit. Uh, we had to get a different map sensor. And this one won't fit either. So we're running the LS3 map sensor that hopefully uh, is the right one. We got some pins here uh, from Napa. So we're gonna be running those right there. And we're gonna be running these, but it's just little stuff like this. You run into so many problems uh, that you have to fix, you know, just like the coil packs here. I got new ones, well, they're the wrong ones. You know, I guess these, they have another pin in here, which, you know, you can't tell until you take it apart because the problem with these websites and all these photos, they're, they're like generic photos. So you look at one photo and that photo's for like 10 different ones, but it's, they're all different parts, but the photo is not different. So you're like, oh, okay, that looks right. And then when you read the description, it's, yeah, it's a four pin. Well, they didn't tell you that, you know, that you got a little, you know, nipple on this side or on this side. So that's the issues that we're running into. But we are making really good progress. Um, everything, like computerized ECU, is all done. You know, I'm going to actually put the gaskets in here right now. Here are the uh, gaskets. Oh. We're going to clean this up, but, and we're going to uh, install these on uh, here, and then we're going to put this on the car. We went to Napa, we picked up some bongs to plug these, uh, because we're going to run the map sensor back here now, instead of it being right here, which I think is way better here, because it's easier to get to if you do need to replace it, where uh, this map sensor, well, it's kind, of, it's kind of a pain in the butt once it's already mounted into here. So I'm going to clean this up, get this installed, and hopefully I don't run into any more problems because as of right now i checked all the lines all the an fittings are all good uh, like i said so far i've ran to just this and the map sensor which they're not really problems there's just little hiccups in the road so um gonna get that installed then we'll plug all the injectors and everything back in all right boys there we go it's mounted on installed i must say that looks good next step well, like I said, we're still kind of waiting for parts. So we got a new boot coming uh, because, well, this is too big. It's in there flopping, so that's not gonna work. So once we get that and uh, we got a new plug for the map sensor, the new one, not this goopy looking one. Uh, this thing's almost done, guys. Then we have ripped pretty much this apart and trying to label wiring for the Switch Pros, but this is gonna be a whole nother video because this is, it's gonna take some more time. So we're just taking our time and oh, we finally got our uh, filters for the vent. You know what, let me know about this guy. So I'm running it right now, just right over here. And a lot of people do. I was thinking about taking this and actually put like a check valve with a bung right here in the exhaust. Let me know, uh, you know, for my I don't know, race guys out there, what do you think, you know I mean? getting getting it all you know blowing it all out all that crankcase so but as of right now guys that's all i got for you we're kind of at a standstill uh, we need one more switch pro part or wire we got to deep pin some stuff and the next video um we're going to be doing the wiring the switch pros and um we actually redoing the panel they're coming today to pick it up i believe this video is like three four days um so i don't even remember where i left off but they're coming to get that and hopefully in the next video, I'll show you guys the panel and we'll have the Switch Pros ready and wired up and show you how we got it wired and how it works. But that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't want to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.